The next one that I wanted to hit on, Virginia Tech found their guy. Of course, they had reached out to Billy Napier. Uh, they reached out to Dave Clawson. Napier took the Florida job. Clawson signed an extension with Wake Forest. They ended up going with defensive coordinator Brent Pry from Penn State. Details of the contract aren't finalized yet. They'll end up releasing it because they are, in fact, a public school. But, uh, but with Babcock, I think got a good one here. Brent Pry has been coaching for 30 years. He's 51 years old. Uh, he's been with James Franklin for uh, forever, since since the Vanderbilt days. And he's he's had a really great defense for a long time. And I think it makes sense that Virginia Tech, who after, after going with Frank Beamer for so long and being known as a defensive football team, they went back to uh, try and be an offensive football team with Justin Fuente when that did not work out. Now they're going back to the defensive uh, side of the ball. And I, I totally can get down with that. They're, uh, they're doing a uh, introductory news conference, press conference, whatever you want to call it, at 9 a.m. Eastern on Thursday. But, uh, but they've already announced this. Like uh, Brent Pry is going to be the guy. And, you know, I mean, it, you, you look at all of his defenses at Penn State. They've been awesome. I mean, he's had uh, top 25 units in total defense in eight of the past 12 seasons, four at Penn State, three at Vanderbilt, one at Georgia Southern. At, this is, I mean, they're seventh in scoring defense this season, allowing only 16.8 per game. That was the strength of their team, was their defense. I I kind of like this for Virginia Tech. You get a guy that, you know, it doesn't have a lot of buzz. He's not flashy, whatever, but he knows one side of the ball, and you think, because he's been around for 30 years doing this, this is somebody that can build a program, and and I like it. No, um, I'll, I'll wait and see. Not that I dislike it, I just don't. You know, I'm not going to make a judgment off of off of his hire yet. Yeah, I mean, it's, none of these. We don't know that any of these are actually going to be successful. I think we feel good about Brian Kelly, and I think we feel good about Lincoln Riley. But at the end of the day, there's been quote unquote home runs before that just did not pan out. Uh, I'm not going to say this is a home run. But I like the direction they went. I, I think this is. I think this is good. I think he he is somebody that looks like he will fit in Blacksburg. Again, I'm going to drive you crazy. Cultural fit, whatever. But you know, I, I could I could totally see him fitting in Blacksburg. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.